Hey guys, it's Daryl. Happy Thursday. Um, I wasn't even going to make a video today, but I just had to on this. It's being called Sharpie Gate. This is one of those things that if I were a Trump supporter, I, I would bury my head in the sand or, or I would just stop supporting or I, I, I don't know. It's just so ridiculous. It's just undeniable. All right. If you haven't heard yet, Trump's uh, propensity to always exaggerate everything as if he's doing battle with the hurricane, exaggerated the hurricane. He came out and uh, as usual, he was he was giving his version, playing weatherman and giving his version of where Hurricane Dorian was going to affect. And as usual, he exaggerates to make it sound like he's going to have to do battle with this massive hurricane, which he did. There was no need to exaggerate it, but he did. And he said it was going to put some hurt, is his words. And uh, it would uh, directly affect Alabama. Okay, this was, uh, I believe this was August 1st, about five, six days ago. Okay. And the next day, the weather, the National Weather Service comes out and says, uh, no, we never said that. It's not going to affect Alabama. Never was going to, never projected to. It was going to turn north. There was no, it was, it was in no way, shape, or form going to affect Alabama. Now, we all know that Trump has this archaic belief that ever admitting that he is wrong or taking blame for anything is a sign of weakness. So what's he do? He lies. And he lies. And he says uh, he's, that, in fact, it, you know, there are some forecasts that did say that. And, you know, and he just goes on. Now, it, it turns out he committed a felony by, by continuing to push this, to go on, the nation, on national TV and push a fake forecast is a felony. I forgot the, uh, I forgot the, the number of it, but it gets, oh, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. Then I think it was yesterday, two, three days ago, August 2nd, August 3rd, he's in the Oval Office. He pulls out a giant weather map with a cone of uncertainty. And people start to notice that it actually has a magic marker in Sharpie. Now this this is on every freaking you know this is this go ahead get it out of your system Trump supporters oh it's fake news no no so on this map in Sharpie in black Sharpie he or one of his White House kiss asses drew a little bubble on the end yeah drew a little bubble. On the end of the cone of uncertainty. And then went on national TV in the Oval Office to show this map. All to, to deny that he is wrong. That what he said was in fact right. That it was going to affect Alabama. A Sharpie. He goes on TV with a freaking doctored up map with a Sharpie. I, what do you say about stuff like this? It's so ridiculous. It, this isn't about immigration or the wall or the economy or tariffs. Serious things that we can debate. This is just the height of egotistical stupidity. You know, now what if he, he, never, he never admits he's wrong? Like, um, he's blaming everything on the Fed now. The man he himself picked to chair to be the chairman of the Fed. Now that everything is going or looking going to go down the tubes, he is blaming. Oh my God, this guy's he's you know he's an idiot. He he's blaming everything on the guy that he put in office, that that he put as head of the chair, the chair of the Fed, and it just it goes on and on. Um, you, you take any scenario and he he blames somebody else. It's somebody else's fault. It's his own people's fault. It's Obama's fault. It's Hillary's fault. It's the Democrats' fault. It's a lying news. Oh, and he, he actually, <laughs> he, he's actually using that one on this. That, that fake news, that, that fake news is now 
I, I don't know. I, I don't even bother looking at what his excuse is on this. He, I saw the words. He, he t- put another tweet out. He's all, you know, and he's just doubling down on it, man. It, it, you know, it, somebody did say it's going to affect Alabama. I was right. I was always right. And uh, meanwhile, the hurricane is headed towards South Carolina. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the Bahamas. He just wants to be right about four, five, six. Okay, so I ran out of space if you noticed the little jump in the video. So my point in all this, how, you know, like I was saying, this isn't North Korea. This isn't immigration. This isn't the wall. This isn't anything we could debate. This is his ego. Um, how, how can you support this, this man? Like, he, he's worse, he's probably, he's worse than a 13, you know, his ego is worse than a, a 13, his ego in lying is worse than a 13-year-old boy. His snotty little tweets are worse than a 13-year-old upset girl. How could you face people? How could you possibly? You know, look at the picture of Trump with his little Sharpie bubble. You're president, man. And that, my friends, is why I have no respect. Zero. Zero for Trump supporters. None. Have a good day.